Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. It may seem like rejection wouldn't lead to freedom, but I want to tell you right now, this is the route that will lead you to freedom. It is through rejection. I know I've been talking about rejection a lot lately. That's because it could be easy for me to just talk about, do this thing, and then feel better about this. Have women in your life, feel good, you know, be motivated, go out there every single day I want you to approach. But you don't struggle with approaching, that's not what you struggle with. If you are watching this video and you chose to click this video, you don't struggle with approaching. You don't struggle with women. You struggle with rejection. That's what you struggle with. You struggle with the, t the feelings that come up inside of you and the thoughts that become attached to that. That's what you struggle with. You struggle with when you see a woman allowing all the things to tell you no, even though you want to go do it. That's what you struggle with. Everything that's taking you away from what you want. You struggle with rejection. I think it's very interesting that it's constantly being told out there that rejection is something that you can get a lot of and then at some point it won't be something that phases you. In relation to approaching itself, absolutely. In relation to approaching itself. But, true rejection, true, true rejection, rejecting yourself from your experiences that you want to do, rejecting the experiences that want to naturally happen, this is true rejection. It's saying no to the things that you want to say yes about. Or it's being afraid of the no to situations that could happen. Your life can unfold in many different ways. It can. It can, unf it can unfold in a way where you allow yourself to walk the real path to freedom or walk a little bit and be free a little bit. That's what it is. But any man who really goes down a path of becoming free what he starts to understand as he embarges on into the path, once you start the path towards freedom, until you hit total let go, you'll never truly really feel free. Total let go, which means disidentifying from the mind or unconditioning yourself, is actually the place of true comfort. Many people out there, they get to a place where they let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, just enough for them to be able to get what they want and then their evolution as a man stop. But for your evolution to continue, it's important for you to be able to consistently allow let go, which means disidentification or unconditioning yourself. This path towards unconditioning yourself or disidentification from the mind, or let go, this path towards that, which I am currently still on, and I can tell you guys right now that soon in, in, among t in time, I know that I'll be able to be in a place of allowance and total presence. I really feel that, I do. It will take time, and as you guys know, I've been on my path and evolving. It, it does take, it takes you going out there and doing it and doing it, and just account, allowing yourself to in the moments where you don't want to, allow, allow, allow. But coming back to rejection, why do I talk about total let go, disidentification, and unconditioning? It's because until you understand total let go, you will not understand why rejection will lead you to freedom. Rejection is attachment, that's what it is. Rejection is attachment to a situation that has a future expectation of failure. That's what it is. People don't like standing into the situation, walking into the situation where failure is an option. Rejection in some way means failure is present. This is why as men, we give up so many times. Well, me, if I think about the times in the beginning where I would see a woman on the street 
And I just didn't want to fail. I didn't want her to say no. That's what it was. Because you get this hype in a way. You get this hype that if you do just enough amount of approaches, that you'll get a woman who will say yes. But what they don't know and what you got, what you probably have come to if you are approaching is that you can do so many and then you get to a point where you're like, all right, I've done so many approaches. Why am I not seeing results? Okay, I've done more than this amount. Now I've hit this amount. There must be something wrong with me. You know what? I don't want to go back in and get rejected by another girl. I have a girl, another, another girl say no. So what did I do? Like, like what you probably would do? Um, if when you get into this mode is that you'll start to want to just get away from any situation where a girl could say no because you're like do you have a boyfriend well a girl could reject you so to speak so immediately you want you go straight into instant gratification instant gratification is a result of you not wanting to sit through the feelings that will happen through so to speak rejection instant gratification is and I know this because I got to the point where I was like, I don't want to get rejected anymore. I don't want to feel all these feelings anymore. So you know what? What I'll do is this. I'll just go up to a girl and I'll ask her right away after the compliment, do she have a boyfriend? This is the way it manifested for me. I will go up to a girl and I'll say, hi, I think you're beautiful. She said, thank you. And I will go, do you have a boyfriend? Many of the times they will say yes. But guess what? Even when they did say no, I became anxious because I was like, okay, now it's my opportunity. Now it's my chance. And then I would screw it up simply because now I don't want to screw it up. Because once you say to a girl, so many girls, do you have a boyfriend? That one girl who says no, that's usually the girl who's going to feel, okay, now this guy is going to start hitting on me. He's going to start now trying to pick me up. And what will that do for you? Or what did that do for me is that they put, that put me in a position of, I don't want this woman to say no now, now that I know that she's available. Because I've done so many different type of behaviors to get to how do I get a woman that's available and not a woman that's unavailable? That's what the getting away from rejection is. You're like, fuck, I don't want to feel just a woman saying that she doesn't want me. So now I'm in a situation where I can clip, get straight there. Okay, now I got to hold on to this. Now attachment sets in. It sets in simply because it seems like there's not enough available women. That's what it seems like. But it, it always seems like this in the beginning. And you guys have to forgive me. Actually, today is my birthday. You guys have to forgive me because right now I'm a bit tired because I've been going this whole weekend with my brothers. But I'm going to stay here with you. I lost my train of thought, but I'll continue on with something else. It is important for you to understand that rejection is a pathway to freedom. It leads there. It leads to you becoming more free. Any guy who wants to really be great with women, he must become great with rejection. You can't become great with women. You cannot, listen to me, you can't become great with women without becoming great with rejection. Which means, until you can master what it feels like to get rejected and stay, stay through that, you will never be great with women. Never will you, simply because the avenue to being great with women is through rejection. That's what it is. Through women saying no, through women flaking on you, through women going home with you and not having sex with you, through all these times where you feel, so to speak, rejection. Not on a small scale, but on the bigger scale of things where you're talking to a girl and you're, you've been dating and then now she stops, she just, go, she just goes cold on you and she doesn't want to see you again and then it falls off. Just constantly feeling this, to be great with women, you must go through rejection to get there. That is the avenue. If you don't take that avenue, what will happen is you will become just a person that's feeling, okay, you know what? All I have to do is just go talk to a woman and then you just become this lost person. I'll go talk to a woman. It goes like this. And even right now I'm becoming lost because it's just like, it's just such a lost route. It is. It's such a lost route for you to try to avoid rejection. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. It's not. Does it feel good? No, it doesn't. Not when you first are going up against it. It does not feel good. The reason why it doesn't feel good is because it seems like it's happening to you. That's what it seems like. It feels like you are getting rejected. That's why it hurts so much. But the truth is, is that what, who you think you are is getting rejected. That's why it hurts so bad. Because maybe you, who you think you are, you feel that person is really high. 
or you feel that person is really low. No matter what it is on a fucking totem pole, it will f f pain will be the result. But the only way for there to be a difference is for you to crunch these two sides into one place of like, if I get if I if a girl says no, that's okay. If a girl says yes, that's okay. The neutral plane is the mastery. That's the neutral plane. The man who goes build beliefs so you can don't feel like this is rejection to something else. That still is built up on th something that's not grounded. It has strength underneath it, but it's not grounded though. Grounded though, which means immovable. Or the person who's feeling like they have so much so low self-worth, they won't even do it. So of course, they're too far away from even giving themselves the energy to go do it. Rejection must become a part of your life if you want to be free. There's no way around it. No way. I've tried to get around this so many times. There's no a way, there's no fucking way around rejection. I don't care if it's on the, from the approach to the to the conversation to at the end of the conversation when a girl just goes, I'm not interested. You can't get away from it, nor should you try to get away from it. If rejection wasn't around, approaching a woman would be bland. I can tell you that now. Listen to what I'm saying. If approaching wasn't there, approaching a woman would be boring. Men would not do it. We wouldn't do it. Because what brings a man's capacity of blossoming to the surface is challenge. It's a challenge to go up to a woman and say hello, but that's the bliss of going up to her and not knowing what's gonna happen. But imagine if every girl out there said yes. Imagine if every girl said yes. Men wouldn't approach women. They wouldn't. It would be too boring. Or if they do, it only just to get their rocks off and then it goes to somebody else. But it would become a boring track. I honestly think that <clears throat> if rejection wasn't around, many men would just start to just lose interest in women because they'll start to just see that women, they don't need women because this is actually the place you get to past rejection is understanding that you don't need women, that women are just uh, a luxury to life. <clears throat> That's actually past rejection. But I can tell you right now, if rejection wasn't a thing, men wouldn't approach. It just simply wouldn't happen. And men are like, oh, yes, I would. I go, no, you actually wouldn't approach. You wouldn't. And if you did, you would become very unhappy with the woman because if a man doesn't have challenge in his life, then he will not be the best man that he could be. He needs challenge for him, for his capacities to be brought to the surface. He needs it. So what does that mean for you? You need rejection. How does that sound? You need rejection. If you don't have rejection, you will not feel happy. You won't. It's crazy that you're afraid of rejection and you're unhappy, but at the same time, you won't. But at the same time, when you actually do get rejection, uh, it makes you unhappy as well uh, first, but then at the, at the next stage, it actually makes you feel different. If rejection wasn't around, you would not like talking to women. Plain and simply. Plain and simple. You guys gotta forgive me for that loud, loud, loud bus, but it wouldn't happen. I'm just sorry, it just wouldn't happen. And this is why rejection is something that a man must go through because it's not until he goes through rejection where he'll start to understand freedom. So what does this mean for you? This means that you need to have rejection in your life to be happy. You need it to be happy, you do. If it wasn't for rejection, you wouldn't approach. It just simply wouldn't happen. And like I said, if you, and if, even if you did, you would be unhappy because guess what? The, you and the one would have something very, very plain and boring. Very plain and boring. Rejection changes you. It gives you the chance to be a different man. This is not a man sitting here trying to tell you that Rejection is something you should have and not the successes. But I'm telling you that it's because of the rejections that's, that the successes are so beautiful. It's because of all the times that you go out 
and you see a girl that you like and girl after girl says no or girl after girl has a boyfriend and you just feel derailed and you feel like man I just don't want to do this and you go up to that girl and she says yes and then you go on a date and you feel her softness and you feel the way she is and you guys kiss and maybe she puts up a little resistance but you've dealt with rejection so much that you're able to handle her now or handle rejection from a woman and then you guys go to the bedroom and what you feel is fuck this is such a relief I've done so much. I've done so many different things. I've talked to so many women. I've had so many women say no. But guess what? This feels good. This feels great to me. It feels good to be in front of a woman and have her want me. That feels good. It feels good to be in front of a woman and not have to go through all the shit that I have to go through with all the other women. Or I have the strength now to go through it, <clears throat> to go through it, and it's not so bad. I just really want to give you the chance to see rejection in a different way. I don't want you to reframe rejection. Don't reframe it. Just be with it. I'm not here to give you a mindset. I'm not. When you feel deflated, Reject it. Feel it. This is so important. You need to feel it. You need to go up to a woman and say hello and feel what it's like to have her like you and not like you. You need to feel that. If you do not feel the not liking you, you will not be free. If every woman said yes to you, you wouldn't be free. You wouldn't. And even if you felt that you were free to do it, you would get bored of freedom. You would, because freedom isn't challenging you. That's why freedom comes with a price. It does. That price is walking through who you think you are. That's the price. And who you think you are is always hard to let go of. But I can tell you right now, it's a price well paid. You know, all the choices that I've been able to make recently you know, about me, me leaving my company, about me being able to have the kind of situation I have with the woman that I'm in, that I'm in love with. You know, everything. It's just been because of all the things I've went through, all the times I've, I've heard no, all the times that I've been in front of women and, and felt so many things come up and not being able to handle it. Of course, women haven't been the only thing I've been, so to speak, developing in, and they're not the reason for my success in life. No, they're not. But in the, the path of being able to know oneself, the path of letting go, the path of just feeling like I can't do this and, and doing it and then still feeling like I can't do it, it all led to this moment now. For me to be here in front of this camera and tell you that if you want to be free, you can. You just, you just must be willing to have a bigger capacity for rejection than others, than, than yourself previously not than others, than yourself previously. Because if you have a bigger capacity than you had before, then guess what? You're gonna be able to handle more. But those who can handle the most rejection have a bigger capacity on the inside for it. You want this big capacity for yourself. You want yourself to feel that you're a free man. You want yourself to be in front of a woman and be able to talk in the way you wanna talk. You want to be in front of her and feel that if she says no, I can still be okay. You want these situations, but you also want to be safe. How does that match up? You want all of that, but you don't want to walk through what it means to be that. What it feels like to go through that. What it, no, what it feels like to go through the pain to get to that. The path from where you are to where you need to go will have difficulty. It'll be hard. You'll have situations and times where you don't want to do it. You'll have situations that tell you no. You'll feel no from yourself. You'll feel yourself rejecting yourself. You'll feel women saying no to you and you, will, you won't feel good. Just like I have. But going through all that over and over and over to the point where I went, if a woman says no to me, I'm totally okay. Because that leads me to another woman who says yes. 
And I've done that so many times because I remember I had two weeks of flakes last year. I remember that. And then these two weeks of just total flakes. I mean, the girls I was seeing in my life, plus the women I was talking to on the street, literally flake. It's just so many. And just girls are saying no to me. And uh, like nobody was giving me a chance in that period. And I remember standing there on the, on the, uh, on the street in front of Starbucks waiting for a girl to come see me and me just feeling like I almost want to explode on the inside from frustration. Just the frustration of doing so much and having girls just say no to me. Doing so fucking much. I literally felt like I was going to explode. It was the first time I really, really felt it. And then in that moment when I was really feeling it, I was kept bringing myself back to what I was feeling in my body. And when she showed up, and we went home and we had sex, it was like a relief because the moment she showed up, that's when I knew that it was all worth it. I didn't know we were gonna have sex, but the moment she showed up, I knew it was all worth it. And that's what you need to understand. All the rejection that you'll go through, all of it will be worth it. It will, and I promise you that. I promise you that because I am a recipient of it. I don't say it as somebody that's just standing on the outside looking in like you can do it. I'm saying you actually can because I have. Rejection leads you to freedom. But it's up to you to hold a bigger space for it than what you have right now. If you want a different life, you need to open up a different capacity in yourself to feeling different things and having things be different than what you thought. Thank you for tuning in to this very slow but insightful video. Forgive me for my tiredness, but um, I had to record this. It was just in me, and that's just my nature. And if you guys have been following me, you know I'll do it if I'm tired or anything. Thank you for tuning in to this video today. I'm so glad that I was able to give you all these insights on my birthday. Happy birthday to Tony Solo, September 24th. I want you to subscribe to my channel and anyone who you feel will benefit from what I have to say, please share with them because it's not only for you, it's for those who are just like you as well. I'm coming to New York City, November 4th. I'm coming to Toronto, November 18th. I'm coming to San Francisco, December 2nd. Be looking out for the tickets in all these cities. And if you're close by any of these cities, please be there with me on those days that I come because these seminars that I give will be very different. It is totally audience engagement the whole time. So I'll, I'll give you more insight into that. But for now, what I want you to do is go to the description box. There's a free seduction course, Meet to Bathroom series that I've created. Everything from what do you do to the, from the approach all the way to how do I get her upstairs, Tony? That's free for you. Please script this, uh, click this link in the description box and like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I see you tomorrow with another video by yours truly, Tony Solo.